Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Polliner. This is their Salvator. And what this is, is a double bop, guys. And, this, and they're out of uh, Munich, Germany. Another German beer. We did the Hacker Shore yesterday. Uh, we got the Polliner up here. A little bit bigger ABV beer. This comes in at 7.9%, I think. Uh, yep, 7.9% alcohol by volume. 11.2 fluid ounces, and it says best uh, before 0916. So uh, they should they want you to have this by September 2016. Uh, I keep for seven point almost eight percent almost eight percent. This beer would probably keep longer than that, I would think. So uh, it says here, of course, it's brewed. Uh, it's out of Germany. It's brewed with the Bavarian purity law. Uh, it was enacted in 1516. Uh, so it only has water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Uh, no adjuncts or no fillers and no junk. No junk in the trunk. Uh, says here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just me let me read uh, what it has in the commercial description. It's got a little more information here. The Pollander Salvator, with a strongly typical malty taste, is the original Pollander, the bottom fermented Doppelbach beer. Unites the finest hops and dark barley malt. So they're using a darker malt that should be a lot darker than yesterday's beer it was. The Pollander monks served Salvator as a replacement for food at Lent. So it has to have a lot of good stuff in it because uh, they're living on this. Uh, they're not eating any anything. They're they're just they're, they they got to have a rich malty beer to provide all the carbohydrates and all the rest of that stuff. Uh, to survive on because they're not eating. Uh, their most famous brewer was Brother Barnabas who was the head of the Paulander Monastery Brewing starting from 1773. Its original recipe is today almost the same as it was in Barnabas' time. In order to protect the original recipe, Paulander had the trademark Salvator patented in 1896, well over a hundred years ago. So. Uh, don't think there's anything else there we need to go over, so we'll go over the food pairings. Cuisine is German, of course, cheese is just like yesterday. Buttery Brie Good Havarti Swiss, uh, your earthy cheeses, Camembert Fontina, and the meat is game. Uh, this is a rich, roasted beer. Uh, should go well, pairing with even chocolate dishes. So, uh, uh, glass of Pilsner Glass, Pokal Mug, Side, side Ale. Uh, this is my Pilsner Glass, guys, so I'm going to... Use it two days in a row. It's getting a workout this week. Uh, beer can be set up for long periods under proper conditions. That's like I told you. They're wanting you to have it by uh, September of this year, but it's almost 8 percent or This is probably going to keep several years if you choose to. So Let's get the cap up on this one. This should be a lot bigger and a lot sweeter than yesterday's beer. Germans know how to brew some beer. I mean, them, them, them guys have been doing it a long, long time. Long, long, long. Long before the United States was even in existence, guys. They were brewing beer over there a couple of hundred years before the United States was even in existence. Before uh, Christopher Columbus sailed in 1492, they've been doing these beers since 1417. So, even before Christopher Columbus walked the earth, they were brewing beer. I think they got it figured out too. All right, there we go. Put that back up where y'all can see it. About a half a finger of head, rich caramely, 
copper tone color. Very good looking beer. Very, very clear. I can see the light right through it, guys. Very nice looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Should be a big, sweet note. Oh, yeah. Very reminiscent to me of a barley wine, an uh, American barley wine. Big, sweet, roasted malt, brown sugar. <sighs> Maybe some hints of some dark fruit in there. Plums or, or figs or raisins. Very nice, sweet back end. And some spices in there too, it smells like. But they're not. Uh, they haven't added any spices. We're getting that off from the malt. And the hops. Wow. Smells wonderful. Let's give it a taste. Pure Sarah. This comes from Sarah. Uh, uh, just like yesterday's beer. Thank you, Sarah. Cheers. Wow. That is so good. And that, that is awesome, guys. Big sweet notes on there. D rich roasted barley. Brown sugar. And there are some hints of some spices in there, which comes from the malt and the hops. They aren't added any spices to this beer, but it is damn tasty. Hints of some plums and dates in this beer. Wow. Delicious. Very delicious. Now, the, this one kicks it up a notch compared to yesterday's uh, Hacker Shore beer. 5.5 .5 on yesterday's beer. This one's 7.9, almost 8 percenter. Now, if you're in a hurry to get in the fast lane, drink your six-pack of these. You'll have your damn buzz going on, and you won't have to drink 20 damn Budweiser's or Miller's or Coors. This will put you there quick. At 8 percent, drink six of these. I guarantee you'll have the same buzz you're going to have after you drink 20 Budweiser's or 20 Coors or any of that rest of that macro lager swill. So, great beer. It is. Well, let me take it back and let her sip on it. I could sit here and just probably sip all this down in front of here in about five minutes. It's, it's damn tasty, guys. Well-made beer. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it probably about 20 minutes or so. Very nice. Uh, to me, this is like an entry level to a barley wine. Uh, you got a nice, sweet, malty taste to it, but it's not overly sweet. A lot of barley wines are really super sweet, and a lot of barley wines are bigger than 7.9%. They're in the 8, 9, 10, 11 percent bigger barley wines. But this is very, very nice. I mean, the sweet malt is there. The brown sugar, uh, the dark fruits are in there. Plums or, or, or dates or even raisins. And I'm, I'm getting some, maybe some orange peel or something in there. And of course, it's not been added. You're getting that ex probably from the hops. Very, very nice. Final toe. Well, that's delicious. Such a well made beer. And only got four ingredients. The barley, water, the hops, and the yeast. Nothing else. No additional spices. No adjuncts. Uh, I mean, you're getting all that great taste from those four ingredients. Very well done. Very, very well done. Guys, to me, this is a 9 out of 10. Uh, I don't know what I could tell you to make it even better than what it is. Uh, especially just using those four ingredients. A lot of taste whole lot of taste here and if you've not had a barley wine or if you have and they overpowered your palate maybe you'd want to try something like this it's got a lot of that same characteristics but not overly sweet or overly boozy like a lot of the barley wines are this is not overly boozy at all but it's almost eight percent so very well done uh numeric rating on this one guys it'd probably be 95 95 or 96 Damn, damn tasty. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 88 in a very good range. I think it's a little better than that. 
and over to right beer. Right beer says overall 93 and 96 in the style. So uh, I'm more in line with the right beer guys on this one, even though I think it's a little bit better than a 93. Uh, date on the bottle, ABV on the bottle, very nice, very well done. Nice German Doppelbach. Very pleasant beer to drink. So, uh, Sarah, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it, darling. Uh, I appreciate everything that you guys sent to me. The uh, Polander and the uh, Hacker Shore beers were very, very tasty. Very well done German beers. Great to get your hands on them if you can. Give them a try. And if you have, let me know what you think of the Polander uh, Doppelbach. This is their Salvator. I thought it was tasty. Enjoyed it. Alright guys, come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what we dig out of the fridge in. See you then.